Kayla, welcome to Dunedin. One of the things that I'm particularly enjoying at the moment is having the time to wash my hands. Now to make sure they're nice and clean, I have to wash them for at least 20 seconds. The way that I remember to do that is to sing a song. And as it turns out, it's actually a song that we used to sing when my children were little to help them learn how to wash their hands. So to start with today, before we make our art, I'd just like us to pretend we're washing our hands together. So, to get ready, you pretend you're walking into your bathroom and you roll your sleeves up, or you might push them up, but you want your wrists to be nice and clear before you turn the water on. Okay, you ready? Okay, turn the tap, on comes the water. Do you like cold water or do you like hot water or warm water? I quite like a bit of both, so I'm going to turn both my taps on. Look at my warm water running. If I reach out, I get my soap. Now, I've got a cake of soap that I use in my bathroom. Do you have a cake of soap or do you have to push soap? Hmm. Get your, cake, get your soap on your hands and rub it in. Now, for the song. While we hear away a ring a ringa, while we wash our hands. If you're happy and you know it, wash your hands, sing with me. If you're happy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're happy and you know it, you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wash your hands. One more time, down in your wrists, between your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're happy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're happy and you know it, you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wash your hands. Now here comes my favourite bit. By now, my hands are usually nice and soapy, lots of bubbles on them. I push my fingers in here like this, and as I pull them apart, keeping them touching, I can usually stretch a bubble between my fingers. Then I play with that for a little while. I make triangles, and I try and make circles, and I try and make squares as well. I try and make as many shapes as I can before that bubble pops. Now that's what I was doing this morning. Oh, rinse the hands off. Rinse them off. Dry them off on towel. Okay, that's what I was doing this morning. I was washing my hands, I was looking at that bubble, and I was thinking about how all of a sudden there's so much talk about bubbles. We're all living in our own bubbles. And I thought, mm, what sort of art could we do with bubbles? So my friends, today we're going to do some bubble painting. You're going to need some things from your kitchen today and you're going to need th some things from your art supplies. Okay, here's our list. From the kitchen, you're going to need a measuring cup, you're going to need a spoon, a straw, some dishwashing detergent, some sugar, some warm water and a cup, maybe a couple of cups and some food colouring if you have it. From your art supplies, you're going to need some paper, some white paper, some different coloured paper as well if you have some, some scissors, some glue, some gouache paint, and maybe some coloured pencils or something like that. Okay, gather up all of those things and come and meet me back here for some bubble painting. Alright, you've got everything you need? Let's get started. Now I've already mixed my detergent all together. So in my measuring cup, I've put in two tablespoons of dishwashing liquid, two tablespoons of sugar, and one cup of warm water. And I stirred it all up and I made myself a mixture. You can see that my detergent was actually green to start with. So I've got that ready and I've got my straw and I have my spoon and I have one cup. Now I've actually been doing this all morning and having a great time so I'm just going to make one colour. Now you might actually be able to do more experimenting than I was able to at home because I actually don't have any food colouring and so I don't know if that works. I expect it to but I'm not sure. So if you've got food colouring, you'll soon know more than I do. Instead, I've used gouache. 
So here's my little tube of gouache. I'm going to use blue. I'm going to put a little squirt, a little squirt of the blue in the bottom of my cup. Put my lid back on because I don't want my paint to dry out. And now I'm going to pour my water in. It's not just water, is it? It's actually a bubble mix. Okay, one spoon. Now very carefully, I'm just going to stir that round and round and round. Can you see the water changing colour? Or the bubble mix changing colour? Lovely deep blue. Okay. You know something I didn't say, which I should have said to start with, is if you're doing this inside, put a sheet down on the floor, okay? But otherwise, this would be a terrific outside activity. Okay, that's all stirred up nicely. Where goes my spoon? Next comes my straw. And I have my piece of paper all ready to go. Here it is. You got yours ready? Awesome. Okay. Straw goes in. Blow. Blow. Don't suck it up. It would taste terrible and it would be no good for you. Blow out. Oh, here we go. I get my paper. I just put it on top. Now that flattens that big mountain of bubbles. And we take it off. Oh, we've got a very faint ring there of bubbles. Can you see that? I want more than that to show. So I'm going to get my straw back. I'm going to stir that up a bit more. And I'm going to blow again. Not suck. Blow. On goes the paper, and down I go. And then I get my bubbles. Now the bubbles at the moment are sitting on top of the paper. But when I put that in the sun, it will dry. Now while that's drying, and I'm going to move that out of the way, I'm going to show you something that I've already done. I did some with yellow and green, and I made this one, which is very subtle which means it's just quite faint. So then I thought, well, I need to try some different colours. And I used blue, and I did purple. And I covered a whole sheet of paper with lots and lots of circles. So it was very bubbly, and I spent a lot of time looking at that page, and I thought, what can I do? And then I thought about all of my friends that are away in their bubbles, who I'm very much looking forward to seeing as soon as possible. So what I did is I actually drew a friend in each of the bubbles, like there, a friend each. Now what that still needs is maybe some names written under each person, and maybe a little wish for everybody in that bubble, maybe. That's one thing I did. And then I did another page that was all red bubbles. And I had a look at that for a long time and I decided to cut each bubble out and so I got all of these circles. Now, hopefully you can see, again, it's quite faint. And I was looking at them and I thought, you know what they remind me of? They remind me of the moon. Even though the moon is not red, the shape of it and all the little craters on the moon was basically what those little bubbles painted on the paper for me. So then I'm going to get this piece of black paper and I'm going to get my circle that looks like a moon. I'm going to get some glue. Put that on the back. Stick on my moon. And then something else. And what I found was a bit of foil left over from Easter. And I've cut out a rocket. Let's see if that will stick with that blue stick. 
I hope so. What do you think? Should it be silver side? Purple. Maybe silver because it will stand out more on the black. So I could do this flying up to the moon. I could do it landing on the moon. But I think I'm going to do it orbiting the moon. So going around it. And on that goes. Just like that. Now, what else this needs is a little bit of lift. So I would use my colored pencils that I got to draw around some of those little beautiful bubble shapes that the, the bubbles left behind, just to help them stand out. Some soft lines, don't take much. Make them pop a little bit. You know that bubble mixture we were making with the detergent and the sugar? You can actually use that bubble detergent to blow bubbles as well. If you are taking it outside, you can make a little little wand with a piece of wire. And away you go making lovely bubbles. A little bit of pencil on there that needs some more work. Now, this was my favourite. All of the pages, once they were painted, I spent a lot of time with sitting looking at them and seeing what I could see, what things jumped out at me, what shapes I could see within it, and what I could imagine when I looked at it. Now, this one was my absolute favourite. You see that? I looked at it and I saw so many different things. Let me move that straw out of your way. There we go, look at all those circles. And very, very little, little shapes within it. Okay, what I decided to do with this was cut out some silhouettes. Now silhouettes are just black shapes. Silhouettes of what's that little thing? It's a cat. I can put them so they look like they're sitting on my shoulders. Mm, kind of, but really. Okay. What I'm going to do is put some glue on the back of these and I'm going to put them on my painting here. Now I want to put them so they're actually looking into the bub big big bubbles as uh, because they, the big bubbles reminded me of looking into little ponds and i thought you know, i have actually seen cats sit on the edges of ponds watching what swims around inside them and what is it that swims around inside oh see them there okay yeah it's a fish Often as fish. So I'm going to draw a little fish. I'm going to get my orange colour pencil. I'm going to draw a little, little fish with a lovely big tail. Orange. I'm using orange because orange and blue look pretty magnificent together. And I'm going to put a little bit of red on there as well. Just to make it stand out a little bit more. Oh, and there we have it. One bubble painting of some cats looking at a fish in amongst many, many ponds. So I've got all sorts of ideas, but you'll find when you sit with your paintings that something will just pop out at you. And you've got all sorts of different materials you can use in different ways. And you've got other things that you're thinking about as well. That you might bring to your painting like your friends or even you could do one big bubble and draw everyone in your family at the moment who's living with you in your bubble it'll be a special memory painting of right now so bubble painting i hope you enjoy it have a great day bye